Today, I'm going to share with you some stories from the knitting time, which means the cold time. But first, I've got to teach you some Nyunga words so you can understand the first story I'm going to share with you. Are you ready to learn some Nyunga language? Okay. I want you to sh say the words with me. Quilla. Quilla. You say it? Quilla. Quilla. Murich Wankening. Good talking. This is a fun word to say. Jibber jobbling. I know you giggle, don't giggle. Jibber jobbling. You could say that, do that in the action when you're swimming. Jibber jobbling. Jibber jobbling. Swimming. Mamba court. The ocean. Mamba court. Mamba court. The ocean. Really swankin'. Yonduk, 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 yonduk. Now I'm going to do some counting. We're going to count the fish or the jilgit. Ken, one. Ken. Nanokwankin, ken. Ken. Ken jilgit, one fish. Kudju, ken kudju. Kuju, kuju jilgit, rich. Oh, dumbat. Ken, kuju, dumbat. Dumbat jilgit. Say the word with me. Dumbat. 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 Rich. Kuju, kuju. Kuju, kuju. Ken, kuju. Dumbat, kuju, kuju, jilgit. Kuju, kuju. Alright, remember to say this with me? Ma. Ma. Ma also means hand. Ken, kuju, dumbat, kuju, kuju, ma. Ma, jilgit. Say it with me? Ma. Oh, we're back to the beginning. Are you ready for the story now? So today I'm going to read you a story that was told to me so many times that I love this story. It's one of my favourite stories. So I decided to write it in Nyunga language and turn it into a counting book. But I'll tell you more about the story once we're finished. The title is Ma Nyit Jiljit Jibba Jobalen Five Little Fish Swimming in the Ocean. Oh, we should count some of these pages, don't you think? Let's count our fish. Ken, kuju, dumbat, kuju, kuju, ma. Ma nit jiljit balap, mamba kot jibberjobberlin. Five little fish swimming. Oh, oh no, balay! Nyang jinang yunduk. Yunduk bao merinak wording. Watch out, I see that crocodile, and that crocodile is looking for some food. <gasps> Onion. Kuju, kuju nit jiljit balap mamba kot jibba jobbalin. How sad. There's only four little fish left swimming. What do you reckon happened with the other fish? <gasps> Ballet! Nyang jindan yunduk! Yunduk bao merinak wording! Watch out! I see that crocodile! He's looking for some food! <gasps> Onion! Dumbat! Nit jiljit balap mamba kot jibba jobbalin! How sad! There are only three little fish left swimming in the ocean! What happened to Kuchu? <gasps> Ballet! Nyang jindang yuduk, nyunduk bao merinak wording. Watch out, I see that crocodile. That crocodile is still looking for some food. Oh, he is a very hungry yunduk. Onion. Could you nit jiljit balap mamba kot jibba jobbalin? How sad, there's only two little fish left swimming in the ocean. 
Oh, ballet! Nyang jinang yunduk. Yunduk bao merna quoting. Watch out, I see that crocodile. That crocodile is still looking for some food. Oh, nyon. Ken yit jiljit mumbakot jibba jobbalin. How sad, there's only one little fish left swimming in the ocean. <gasps> ballet! Nyang jinang yunduk. Yunduk bao merna quoting. Watch out, I see that crocodile. Oh, he's still looking for some food. Onion. You at nit jiljet balap mumbakot jibba jobblin. There's no little fish left swimming in the ocean. Oh, uh oh. Balay. Aliwa. Nyunduk. Nyang jinang. Kumba quilla. Yunduk kut kut jibba jobblin. Balay. Oh, look how. Crocodile, I see a big shark. So Yonduk swam really quickly. Yonduk, Jiralilak Jibba Jobbalin, Bao Yellow Kitchen. So the crocodile, he went up north and there he waits. The end. So this story tells a story about when Yonduk, the crocodile, and Quilla, the shark, and Mamang, the whale, they were swimming looking for some food and Yonduk, he got very greedy and this upset Quilla. So he and Quilla got into a big, big battle and there was a waves crashing like you wouldn't believe. Part of this fight, Quilla bit off some of Yonduk's tail and they fought and fought again and they bit off another bit. By this time, poor Mamang didn't like seeing his friends fighting. so. He stopped the fight. He said to Yonduk, you're not allowed to come here. You're too greedy. You go back up north to your family. We don't want you down here. And Quilla, no matter how bad your friends are, you should never hurt them. I don't want to be friends with you either. I'm leaving you here. So he left Quilla and then he carried on down to Albany by himself. But you can still see Quilla to this day. And this is why we don't have crocodiles in in down here in the southwest, because Quilla is still waiting for its revenge. A lot of Nyungar people, we don't swim at Cottesloe Beach. And if you look at the rocks along on the sand dune, you'll see Quilla. He's still waiting. He's protecting the waters to make sure that there's enough fish for everybody. And what happened to Yondok's tail? Well, this was in a time when everything was so much bigger. All oh, the animals were bigger, twice the size, triple the size. And over time, lots of shells and lots of sand have covered up Yonduk's tail. They're now turned into two islands. One we call Wajimup, Rotness Island. And the other one we call Miranip, which is Garden Island. And if you go look at, at Perth waters from an aeroplane, you'll see lots and lots of salt lakes. And that's Yonduk's footprints from when he went back up north. And that is why we always look after each our friends and why we never take more than what we need. I hope you enjoyed that story. Read, talk, sing, write, play.